Good morning guys. Well this week I'm going to work on trying to get these uh, toe kicks in position and hopefully get the cabinet sitting on top as well. There's a few things I have to do before I do that. The first one is, this is the front panel of the side of Carolyn's bed. So it goes up against her bed facing the front. Now what I'm doing is I'm just taking the section off here which sits around the frame this way I'm not having the trouble with when I put the bed down and up that it gets stuck on this. This will be below the frame or on the frame level so it won't get stuck when you lift the side of the bed up. And also the side of the kitchen is going to come up this side. Anyway, I'll show you when I take it back in. So I'm just cutting this part off so it'll fit. This is the panel that I was talking about that I've taken out and cut. So instead of it being sitting up like this i'm cutting it down so it'll sit along this the top of this one here that way when this comes down it doesn't get affected but as you just saw i've got to make sure that this part is in because it's just pulled this apart when i've done that there you go learn something new every day so don't put any pressure on the frame with this gas strap otherwise it'll pull apart <laughs> with the cabinets i'm putting a three mil bit of ply underneath it just to lift it up just off the ground to give me extra coverage for the flooring when it goes in so the drawers don't hit now i'm just measuring out the toe kicks are 490 wide by 1886 long I'm cutting one down and then cutting half of another one down and this will lay straight on the floor of the bus and then the cabinet, uh, the toe kicks drawers will sit on this. Now that I've cut the boards for under the toe kicks, I've got them put in the, the holes for the two drainage points and the access point for the petrol. Marked on the sides where they've got to come out for each one. And I've also marked on the edge for each one where the pipe comes to and also so where the opening comes to. I marked and ready to be cut out. So this is for the access panel to the fuel pump. Uh, this one here is access to the, oh, to let the pipe come through. Now I forgot to measure on this side as well, but I'm going to just use my vibrating tool so if they're a bit bigger doesn't matter because you're not going to see it anyway okay I've cut the access holes that I need so let's go and see if I've cut them right I've got the bottom three mil ply also down it's sitting in the bottom of the bus now so what I'm going to do with the toe kicks is I'm going to join them together so that they're ready to go in I've got some little angle brackets to go here so I can drill down and attach them to the floor and then they'll be attached to the floor down through here. The first two are now joined together. I've put some screws top and bottom on either side to hold them together. I, um, nice and level at the front so that's the main thing if i have to level them up i've got some little shims to to bring them up if i need to This is the toe kicks joined together, all four of them joined together, nice and level at the front now. I've also put some angle brackets at the back so I can screw through to the floor and secure it down and I'm also going to drill through the front as well on each of these. That'll secure the bottom part of our toe kicks. Now I've got to work out the 
cabinets. The cabinets have got a side panel on one side here and the other side there. I've got to put the end panel onto the cabinet and then see where it comes along the side of here because I've got to make a piece down here to cover the gap. I've got to find out what, how much of a piece I need to make on both ends. And then I can screw the toe kicks in and put the cabinets in. That's it temporarily in there. I'll work out the cabinet ends on either end and what needs to be done here. And then I can affix that down and put the cabinets on. With the cabinets, I've got to drill holes for the pipes. I've also got to drill an access point for the fuel tank in the cabinet itself. And also in the cabinet, I'm going to have to drill some spots for the water to come through, which goes out to the rest of the bus. So that'll be a bit fiddly, working out where that has to go, because I'm pretty sure this end is where the drawers are, so I'm going to have to put it in between the drawers somehow. Good morning, guys. Today I want to get the drawer faces on our kitchen cabinet done. What it says in the instructions is to have it level with the base of the cabinet and then clamp it. Make sure your sides are equal as well. So I've clamped it and now I'm going to drill some pilot holes through here and screw them in. Once again I'm going to have to modify this for the handle. There needs to be a bracket going across the back of here so I can have somewhere to put the latch and I'm going to have to make another one for the next one up. The top one will be fine because I can use that but then I'm going to have to modify the drawers as well because this is sitting up too high for the handle so it'll be similar to the toe kick drawer faces. So a little bit more work to do but anyway we'll get stuck into it. Alright guys, the draw front's on, that was a bit of a mission. The reason why is, when I put the drawers on and I put the fronts on to check them, they were sticking out a long way, so I then moved all the draw sliders in and out to see if it would fix it. And I could get the, the front of the drawer, this part here, the cabinet drawer, flush with the cabinet problem is when I put the drawer fronts on they're pushed to open so they need to have a space in between it and I didn't realize so what's happened is I've had this sitting right against here which was great look good but it wouldn't close or open I wouldn't close properly because it needs this little gap so when I push it to open it goes in a little bit so then I had to move everything back to where it was to start off with. So if you're doing these caboodle kitchens, just keep in mind when you're doing the drawers, looks a bit strange, but that's the way they're made. So I guess if you got the standard uh, door sliders, they wouldn't be like that. They'd just sit back flush, but there you go, live and learn. So it's looking pretty good. Now I've got to work out the handle situation like the other drawers, so. I've got to do exactly the same as what I did with the toe kick drawers. I'm going to have to cut into the back of the drawer face and also the actual drawer to make space for the latch. So I'm not going to record that because 
you can see that in the last episode part 55 I think it was so I'm not going to record that but once I've done that what I do have to do is I have to make two of these to go in between this drawer here and the bottom drawer so the latch has something to lock onto so I've got to make that this is the section that I've made I had some leftover melamine and I've put some edge banding on it and I've cut it to size so it'll fit in between the drawers like this one haven't screwed it in as yet but it's basically the same measurement as this one this will allow me to put this little lock onto each drawer so that they will be able to close to like the top one and this this section here is going in here what I did with this is I had when I had the drawers in each I went in between the drawers and put a mark on each of them so I knew where this middle support had to go I've measured the support up and cut it to length like I did and I've edge banded it as well then I've as you can see I've come out drawn a line across and tried to keep it as much as these ones up here I've pre-drilled with a countersink drill on all of them and I've used a clamp to keep it tight as I'm drilling and then I've just drilled through and it's come through really easy so that's the top drawer and you can see there I'll go and put the other drawers on and you should see it's nice and neat and that'll allow me to fix the lock for each of the other two drawers so I can then do the drawer locks for that and this top one is now done as well all right this is with the three drawers back in with the little pieces in between not that you can see them but they're there now I can do the last two locks and this cabinet's done basically I've got to put the side bit on here because this is the end cabinet this is going up against Carolyn's bed so not that you'll see much of this end cabinet anyway but I wanted it so I can pull it out just a bit from the bed I finished with the drawers putting the locks on they're all working now the only thing that I've got left to do is put on this end piece which I'll do tomorrow and then I can put it in to the bus and then I can install the other cabinets with it because I don't have to put any of that furniture on at the moment so this was the main part because I had to get to the lot for them so all good good morning guys well today I'm going to put the end panel onto the cupboard behind me as you can see or well, not the cupboard the cabinet it'll be going on this side that's the side that Carolyn's bed's on and this is the floor drawers so I've got to make sure I've got the right way around because I don't want to put it on the wrong way so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pre-drill some counter sunk holes I'm just tossing up whether to do four or six I might do four with one in the middle I'm not sure yet and from there this is the end panel the back of it I've got to attach that to it okay so I've turned on its side I've put on the end panel I've clamped it up so it's level on the top and the sides and there's space underneath because that's where the toe kick goes and I'm drilling in the screws that I need now to keep it attached Shut up and sit down Okie dokie, the side end panel's on. Now, Carolyn had to come out and give me a hand. I just couldn't clamp the other side, so I couldn't get enough pressure to keep it from pushing up when I screwed in, but it's all now, all right now. All right, so this part here hangs down 144, which is the normal toe kick size. Ours is from the here to here is 188 so I've got to make a piece about 38 mil 
to sit under this one. Probably don't need to, but I'm going to just so when it's back against the toe kick, it won't look silly. All right, guys, I've pulled the toe kicks out. What I'm doing is this three mil plies going on just to lift it up a bit for the drawers when we put the flooring down. I've measured out how far it's coming back from the bed to here. So this is where the side edge of the toe kicks go. And same with that one over there. And once that's done, I'm nailing them on now. So they'll be in position and won't move when I go to put them back down. So I've nailed the bottom plywood on to the toe kicks. Now I'm going to sweep this area up. And I'm going to put it down and then measure, make sure everything's level before I attach the toe kicks. The toe kick is now secure. I've secured it all the way in. It's level. Well, as good as you close you can get it in a bus. And you can see the edge bit that's coming out here. That's what the side panel is going to rest above so it doesn't look too out of place when you look at it. Not that you'll see because it it'll be under the toe kicks anyway. First kitchen cabinet in that's the end view Carolyn's bed so happy about that now all we have to do is get the other ones in this is going to be a pain got to cut that out and then I might might be able to put the next one in it's only 450 wide so it might go in there and then the last one is the one I'll have to fiddle with. Second cabinet's been bought in. Third cabinet's been bought in. All right, I'm cutting out the excess point to the fuel tank. My trusty, what's it called? Multi-tool. Alright guys, I'm joining the cabinets together for the kitchen now. So basically what I've done is I've squared them up, nice and level, hit them with the clamps, and then I've countersunk the screws into there from one side. I did one on this side. I'm doing the same on this one here. So I've kind of uh, drilled some countersunk holes and now I'm going to drill through and then this should be all level because the base was level but I'll check it again I've also drilled the holes through for the hoses and also taken cut a hole or cut a square <laughs> into the bottom of the cabinet I've just put some bracing there now this is 19 mil bracing and I've checked that it doesn't affect the drawer slide through I will have to put something here so I can pick it up a bit easier but that's all cut for access once I've joined these two together the only thing I've got left to do is put on the end part and uh, fix it down to the to the toe kick and also to the wall so we're getting close to being done I've joined the cabinets together now all together nice and uh, flat now all I have to do is screw them to the base and to the wall probably do I'll do the wall down the bottom because it's got a bit of a curve so I know there's a beam running down along here so I can screw into that along there and at the front 
and we should be fine. So Carolyn's coming out to look at the bus for the first time. And she hasn't really seen it, so let's have a look at her reaction. Wow. Look good? That's awesome. But it's so cool. Oh my goodness. Oh, how good is it going to look when it's all finished? Can I press it? Yep. Push to open, remember? Oh. Beautiful. Push Do it I in. just let it go? No, push it in. No, push. Lovely. Thank you, darling. Good? <laughs> yes. Beautiful. 